the face of Black maternal health, and my name is Kenyo Pierre. I am a member of the Association of Black Cardiologists, and I'm a third year cardiology fellow. I always wonder if I hadn't said something, or if I hadn't stood up to, to the physician assistant, would, I, would my wife still be here? Would my children still have a mother? Um, would I be raising my kids by myself? The Black maternal health crisis affects the whole family. If, unfortunately, there is a maternal mortality, it, the child that now doesn't have a mother is affected, the husband who lost his wife is affected, the, that whole maternal family is affected, the community is affected. My wife gave birth to a beautiful baby boy um, and we were discharged two days later. We're sitting on the couch and she just begins crying profusely saying, honey, I've never experienced pain like this before. It was her shoulder and her abdomen. And in my mind, my wife never cries for anything. And so I knew something was serious. I thought maybe she's having internal bleeding. We drive over, race across town. And I, I remember getting outside the car and putting her inside the wheelchair and wheeling her inside the ED. And I couldn't even stay with her because I had to go back and take care of the kids. I think it's really important that we acknowledge whoever is in the birthing person's life, black fathers, uncles, cousins, whoever, that they have fears about this process too. They read the same articles, have the same access to news, and know that pregnancy can be a really dangerous time. So I think it's equally important to educate our black fathers as well as other family members and the birthing person themselves. They can form a significant part of our birth team and both the community and medical professionals should embrace their involvement. And she gives me a call and says, honey, they think I have a UTI and they're gonna discharge me. And I said, there's no way you're having a UTI. You've had UTIs before. Um, you've never cried for a urinary tract infection. This can't be the case. And so I spoke to the physician assistant. I said, hey, she's, this isn't, she doesn't cry. This isn't a urinary tract infection. Can you do a CT scan to make sure there's not internal bleeding? And he scoffed at the idea and said, you know what, I'll go talk to my attendant about it. And they decided to settle on an ultrasound of the abdomen. The ultrasound displayed free flowing fluid inside her stomach, which was concerning for bleeding. It did a CT scan and she had so much blood inside around her liver that it actually tamponaded itself and prevented further bleeding. One of the main components of poor perinatal outcomes revolves around women not being heard. If you're in a hospital setting, and something is going on, there are always the administrators on call to have a discourse with. Um, if there's somebody with you that can advocate in your stead, that's always an option. There are a series of roles that partners can play, particularly men as well as black men can play when it comes to mitigating the rates of death as it pertains to this black maternal health crisis. One way is to make sure that their health is ideal. We focused on the mom, but it's just as important to focus on the, the spouses, brothers, uh, you know, significant others that play a primary role uh, with our mothers. And we're finding that more and more uh, the health of our black fathers is just as important um, as the black mom's health as well. So Association of Black Cardiologists has made it a point now to focus on the health of our black fathers. We know that a lot of data supports that if the mother's health is ideal going into the pregnancy, as well as the father or the partner's health is ideal going into the pregnancy, there is less likelihood of having poor maternal outcomes such as preeclampsia, such as gestational diabetes, such as premature labor. Whether she's your mother, your daughter, your sister, your aunt, your niece, you have to advocate for her. You have to make sure that they hear her. Whether, whether, if it's not the nurse, then talk to the nurse manager. If it's not the nurse manager, talk to the nurse practitioner. If it's not the nurse practitioner, talk to the physician. If it's not the physician, talk to the administrator. If it's not the administrator, talk to somebody else at another hospital. But make sure that they hear this black woman inside your life. Black men have 
have a crucial role to play supporting black women during pregnant, the pregnancy journey and can be essential allies in creating better outcomes for mother and child. Black men can actively participate in healthcare decisions, making processes alongside their partners, ensuring that their voices are heard and that their concerns are addressed by healthcare professionals. This involvement can help bridge communication gaps and assure that black women receive culturally competent and respectful care. Their involvement and commitment are essential.